Imagine looking in your rearview mirror and seeing this 70,000 pound 18 wheeler behind you without anyone at the wheel. Well, we are pretty much there because this truck is driving itself. Aurora Innovation already has autonomous trucks like this one cruising the highway, just with a babysitter at the wheel. At Aurora, we're building uh, self-driving technology. Sensors track what's going on around the truck, and an onboard computer not only drives, it does so as politely as possible so it won't freak out anyone else on the road. It's a combination of hardware, software, and data services that allows us essentially operate vehicles autonomously. These trucks all share a common robot brain. And that brain has driven 5 million real world miles. Every time one truck drives, they all get smarter. So it really understands the world based on all of the experiences that it's been through. So whatever we're likely to see, I was going to say bump into, that's not the right word. No, no, no. no. no will be, in theory, something that it has encountered either in the real world or in simulation. Or something similar, right? And so it knows how to handle that situation because it's encountered it before. For the moment, two experienced drivers are part of every ride. He watches the road while she watches the software and describes what's coming next. She's watching how the Aurora driver is perceiving the world and how it's making decisions. And she's keeping him updated on it constantly. We drove a few miles between Dallas and Houston, a run that these trucks just began making for FedEx. And by the end of 2023, the company says they won't have anyone inside. But while this is cool technology, it's really a reflection of a labor issue. The trucking industry predicts a shortage of 160,000 truck drivers by the year 2030. Labor experts say it's not a lack of willing drivers. They blame deregulation in the 1980s, which turned steady trucking jobs into contractor work with lower wages and tougher working conditions. I think it's probably not the job you want to go into 40 years from now. Robotic trucks could eventually spell the end of traditional trucking jobs. Is a self-driving truck tremendously less expensive than training up a human driver? We don't really think about it that way. We think about the value that it gets to bring to, to the market. The Aurora driver is going to be able to drive for 20 hours a day. Basically until the gas runs out. Until the gas runs out. The implications of technology like this go on and on. It could help solve our supply chain issues. It might end one whole human occupation while creating a new one for a lucky few. And soon enough, one lane of your nearest highway may be an endless wall of robot trucks. For today, Jake Ward, Palmer, Texas. Good Ooh. thoughts. Mm. <laughs> yeah, little Transformers action. Oh, yeah. wow. Wow. The robots are here. I do. I mean, I, I think the the. the Chief thought is safety. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We have yeah. to wonder. Right. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. This is a big rig. A yeah. car's yeah. one thing, but a big rig's like. Mm -hmm. And then what happens when you go to a truck stop? Are they all robots? What's going on? No, nobody's there. <laughs> there, there are no you don't have a truck stop because nobody on. has to Come go. How can, you gotta nobody's stopping to use you the You've got to have a truck stop. Think of the money That's your concern. No. That's my concern. The what happens to the truck stop? What happens to the truck stop? You go to the I want to go to a Bucky's. Come on. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.